Hey everyone, this is Rob over here at Boonbape and hope you're having an amazing day. Today I'm going to bring you all a quick video on my new favorite place in order to get up my gear score or my high watermark, whatever you want to call it. And this is definitely not new. As you can see behind me, this is the tentacle spot at the Eternal Pool. So if you do enjoy this video or if it does help you out at all, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe. I really do appreciate it and it does help the channel get noticed. So a quick disclaimer, I actually didn't invent or even find this spot. Someone in my company showed it to me, so shout out to Tempest, and he actually found it from someone else, so credit where credit is due, and thanks for whoever did find the spot. I just wanted to make it a little more known in case anyone was struggling to get their watermark up, such as myself. And also, before I get to mention, if you do want to see me completing the parkour jump arena in order to get here the safe way, if you are coming with just one or two people, then I'm going to have that at the end of the video, so feel free to skip around if that's all you're interested in. I will have that completely uncut and without commentary so you can see exactly how many times it takes me to mess up. So with that out of the way, let's jump straight into the video. So like I said in the beginning of the video, this is going to be at the Eternal Pool. And if you've been there before, you know it's in Reek Water. If not, here it is. It's in Reek Water. So once you get to the actual settlement here, you simply go a little bit north. Now there's going to be two ways to get here. One of them is kind of like a jump puzzle. And the other one is simply clearing out an elite zone. But it is a higher level elite zone, as you can see here, level 64. And the other way is going to be through Lazarus. So you don't actually do Lazarus or anything like that, but going up here, you can do a jump puzzle to get around the cliffs and that'll take you there. This is usually the way I like to go if it's only me and a couple of friends as clearing this place, the Eternal Pool itself is actually fairly treacherous and is straightforward, but can be pretty dangerous. So no matter which route you take, you're going to end up where I am right here. Now this is going to be the very end of the Eternal Pool run. If we quickly bring up our map, this is what the pool run will look like. There's going to be some bosses down in this large yellow square, a bear boss right before this large yellow square. And then once you get to the long yellow rectangle at the very end, this is the spot that we are going to be farming. Now, there are a couple ways to make this farm a little bit faster. The first one is actually by standing where I am now. So by standing here, you actually are going to speed up the respawn process of the tentacle. And the tentacle usually spawns right there. You can actually see him whenever he spawns just by being in this spot. The main importance of actually being in this spot is if you are far enough away from this boss, he actually spawns in as little as two minutes. If you decide to stay closer, such as next to where you actually fight the boss, then he can take as long as five to 10 minutes in order to spawn. And obviously you want him to spawn faster. So as you can see, just from this safe spot here, you can actually see when the boss spawns. Also, if you look over a little bit to the right, that's actually the safe spot that we're gonna be going to to fight the boss. So I'd highly recommend having a ranged weapon. That's actually pretty much the only way you can do this safely and reliably. And I'm gonna show you how to get up there right now. So we're going to be making sure that we're out of the range of the boss and on top of that you're going to want ideally a fire staff as these enemies do take more damage from fire staffs. I definitely don't condone exploiting uh, like this guy still is somehow even though supposedly they fixed the hot swap macroing. But either way you're going to want to shoot the top of the enemy right here. This essentially gives you some headshot damage if you were to shoot the lower part down there you actually deal significantly less damage. And every once in a while, the enemy will get knocked over like this. So this is actually a really nice way to level up your weapon and whatever weapon you end up using, whether you're using an ice gauntlet or a fire staff. Like I said, fire staff is recommended, but you can still do pretty good damage with an ice gauntlet. As you can see with just the two of us here, although that guy is macroing, you still take him down pretty fast with just two people. Like I said, you can do this solo, but I honestly wouldn't recommend it as it can take a really long time. So... Usually you can find another person here that wants to do this with you. Whenever I come here, usually there's someone just hanging out and we end up grouping up together. So now that whenever you do take them down, you just run over here, get the loot. And I wouldn't really worry too much about the enemies here. They are annoying, but they usually aren't very lethal. So once you're done with that, you jump over here run to this corner and you can either sit here, stand here or lay down like him. And honestly, this is going to be your safe spot. Like I said, you can see whenever the boss spawns again and then also that spot over there, you can also get all the way onto the very top rocks up there. I know some people enjoy that as well. 
either of these options is going to work for you. So this boss can spawn some very high level gear all the way up to 600, I believe. Personally, I haven't found any 600 gear from this boss, but I have gotten some pretty high level stuff, including 594 gear. But even recently, just in these couple of runs, I got some 584s, 578s, as well as 579. So this boss definitely has potential to drop a 600, especially being a 66 named elite. So I would highly recommend trying and checking this out, especially if you need a little boost for a couple of your watermarks. So if you are a solo player and looking to only do solo content, then I'd still recommend checking out my solo video where I still would recommend Faye the Last Protector as you see me fighting him here. That is from Spiderlet Tower in the Shattered Mountains. I would still recommend this spot over the one that I'm currently at being the Tentacle. As this spot, you can't really do solo. You can, it just takes a lot longer and I think you're going to get better results over at Spryla Tower. So that's going to be about it for this video. Thanks for watching and I hope you all enjoyed it or did help you out. Also, if there are any other spots that I definitely missed or that I should know about, let me know down in the comments below so I can either make a video about it or correct this video as I think that really does help out the community. So thanks again for watching and I'll see you all very soon.